I am not enough. That's the original sin. Covetousness, not enoughness, scarcity principle, scarcity mindset. And this is what drives the world into destruction and darkness. I pray that those with ears, those with ears to hear truly catch this as fluid and maybe even rambling as it sounds. Please catch this. We simply have to be to be Yah, Yah within. He only asks us to be. We are already enough. We are already sufficient. And his glory will manifest. His miracles will manifest. His will, his work will manifest as we are. And it is good. And he shall call it good. Just as the word says in Better Sheep, Genesis. And he saw that it was light. And he called light into being. And it was good. The Hebrew word tov, tov means functional, not good in the more English connotation, but functional. I am not enough. That's the original sin. Covetousness, not enoughness, scarcity principle, scarcity mindset. And this is what drives the world into destruction and darkness. I pray that those with ears, those with ears to hear truly catch this as fluid and maybe even rambling as it sounds. Please catch this. We simply have to be, to be Yah, Yah within. He only asks us to be, we are already enough. We are already sufficient and his glory will manifest. His miracles will manifest. His will, his work will manifest as we are. And it is good, and he shall call it good, just as the word says in Better Sheep, Genesis. And he saw that it was light, and he called light into being, and it was good. The Hebrew word tov, tov, means functional, not good in the more English connotation, but functional, functional. That is what is good. That is what is life. That which sustains existence is good. Anything opposite of that is, is evil or Satan or sin. And we put all this spooky, crazy stuff to these words. It's simply dysfunction, dis-ease. And think about the word dis-ease when we're not at ease, when we do not surrender, when, when we're not receptive and simply being in the softness and gentleness of ease, realizing life is simpler than we ever thought or made it to be. We overcomplicate things by what? Overthinking. <laughs> Eating of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Knowledge. Thinking too much. Thinking too much. Overcomplicating. Overcomplicating. Just be in ease. And from there, all blessings flow. All blessings surround you already. Think about the Garden of Eden, a place of ease and simplicity. There was no suffering. There was no need to work. There was no effort. Effortless, effortlessness, effortless beauty, natural beauty. Isn't that what we talk about, ladies? Effortless femininity. Just be and know that you are loved. Know that you are so worthy and deserving as you are, as you is, as you am, as you be. <laughs> and think about, you know, even in, in the African-American culture, our, our colloquial communications, I be, we be, you be. <laughs> Some may say that that's degraded language, that's incorrect or improper English, really? Hmm. Shakespeare would not say so. But that's another story. Too many people are illiterate and perpetuate hegemonic concepts that if they truly knew their own history would contradict themselves. But that's another story. To be receptive and just be functional. Just sitting here breathing 
is your function. And that is sufficient. And as simple as it sounds, that itself is a miracle and a marvel. We do not know how intricately and meticulously the human body was made just for us to draw one breath. How much effort that is. How miraculous that is. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, speak through me. Most humbly, I empty myself. I am just your vessel. Mm. So to come back to repentance, <laughs> trying to keep this on, on point, right? To come back to repentance, surrender, renunciation, just surrendering to the idea that, okay, yeah, I messed up. I did so many things dysfunctionally, rebelling, butting my head against the wall, trying to get somewhere, spinning my wheels, getting nowhere, trying to be everything except what I am, what you created me to be down to the food we eat, the clothes we wear full of chemicals and endocrine disruptors, household cleaning products full of carcinogens, foods full of additives and poisons, literal poisons, everything that we see on marketing, in marketing, in media and advertising, that compels us to covet the very things that will kill us. I tell people all the time, marketing is the ultimate witchcraft. Manipulation is witchcraft, simple as that. It's beyond candles and hoodoo and roots and powders <laughs> and invocations and chants, mantras and incantations. Witchcraft is simple manipulation. It is rebellion. The Bible says witchcraft is the spirit of rebellion. Again, dysfunction, going against what you were meant to be. Glamour spells. Remember the craft? The glamour spells. Oh, you want to look different? Mm, marketing will sell you that. Sell you surgery and makeup full of chemicals. Weight loss pills that have unknowable effects that scientists will only just start to discover 20 years from now. Oh, you desire to be sexier. <laughs> All these things, think about it. Think about it. So when you repent, you surrender all that and say, I'm gonna stop trying to be something other than what you created me to be. I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna surrender. I'm gonna release this burden of trying to get somewhere and simply be present and enjoy I am, who I am, whose I am. Repentance is not shame. It is the change of mind. The change of mind to say, I see now how I was hurting myself. It's not about groveling at God's feet, saying, oh, I'm such a filthy sinner. I'm so undeserving and unworthy. That's what Satan desires you to do. That's what he tells you every day through your TV screen and your YouTube and your social media. You're not good enough. You're disgusting. You're incompetent. You're insufficient. Do this to be accepted. Even healing. We chase healing and make an idol of healing. How many retreats can we go to? How many classes can we take? How many supplements can we ingest? How many herbs can we brew? <laughs> How many diets can we go on? How many meditations can we seek to master? Constantly chasing. And I've been in that world, chasing healing, making healing the idol. Instead of just knowing I am healed, I am, I am. I am, I'm alive today. I'm sitting here worried about the idea, the possibility of I might have this condition. 
instead of being in this moment saying, as long as I'm taking breath, I am healed. I am healthy. I'm healthy, healthy enough to draw breath. My eyes can see. Well, that's enough for me. That satisfies me. Seeking healing, making it an idol, chasing it constantly. That's masculine energy. Stressing yourself out even more, ironically, <laughs> instead of just being. I was just thinking this morning of Moses when he said, how can I speak to the children of Israel? How can I leave them when I stutter? That doesn't matter. Yah's glory and his work and his will will be done as you are. It doesn't matter how you look, how you speak, your education, your background, where you came from, where you were born. What you think you know, what you think you don't know. You are his glory already. He will be glorified in you. You will be glorified in him as you are. So repent, change your mind, change your ways from the idea of insufficiency, scarcity, dissatisfaction and covetousness, chasing, chasing and chasing. Repentance, surrender, renounce that. Renounce the demonic covenants that enslave you to the idea that you're not enough. And see, this is where it gets deeper now. This is where it gets deep. Avi lecha b'samim, yinot kramim, b'yom chagi. Avi lecha cheshki, adam libi, chayai moti. Ashir lecha altai, yored mimchom, b'shachar yorom. Uvechedvat yamai, benananai, yetzitz chalom.